Good evening, fool too. Playtime boy here. How you doing? I think you're doing fine, actually. Fool too. Just like to do this video uh, on behalf of me, actually. Uh, today is the <laughs> third anniversary of my uh, coming back to Flint, Michigan. Uh, I left Flint, Michigan to find some uh, better job opportunities in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, we uh, returned back to Flint on uh, this day, September the 30th, 2014, the last day of September 2014. Uh, I have had quite a bit of jobs since then. Uh, the job that I got last April is my main job. Um, I'm doing a lot better than I was doing, uh, let's say, March of 2014. Uh, I uh, Had I not lost my job at Sky Harbor, Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, I would have never came back to Flint, but God must have had a plan for me and a purpose. So, uh, I would like to say, uh, you know, um, I'm back in Flint for the time being. I told you all, I've kind of alluded to it a few times, that uh, I'm looking into going back on the West Coast permanent, permanently this time. Uh, I don't know. I... Um, if it wasn't for my mother, I really wouldn't be in Flint. Uh, so, uh, I wish she would come along with me. Uh, one day, I eventually want to end up in either San Diego, San Francisco, or Pasadena, California. Uh, or either Vancouver, Canada. So, I will, I'm thinking about going out on the West Coast, then migrating up north into uh, Vancouver, Canada, and eventually going to either Brazil and South America, or Nigeria in Africa, or the Gambia, or Gambia in uh, Africa, or uh, uh, what was the other place? Ni ni uh, Liberia. I was going to say Liberia. Uh, but mainly uh, either Nigeria or Liberia. Nigeria or Liberia. Hmm. Sound real similar. Um, a lot has happened in three years. Uh, like I said, I've had some jobs. I've lost some. Uh, Yao has worked out a lot of things in my life. He's gave me stability with, uh, I'm working three jobs now. Uh, so my finances are a lot better. Uh, I have I've been here at this place where I'm at now for 13 months in October, so tomorrow. And um so I got stability at work now and I got stab stability at home. So uh just saying thank you y'all 3 years later you have done a magnificent job with me and I cannot complain. Thank you Oshun, thank you Obatala. Um, I just like to thank y'all for what he's done for me and what he's going to continue to do for me. Now, that's the young lady that I wanted to talk to. And, uh, uh, I'm going to get her phone number and I'm going to find out if she's as interested in me as I am interested in her. All I'm going to say is this young lady is tall, and yes, she's, uh, I don't know if she's biracial, but she's a mulatto color, so uh, she's tall and light-skinned and very attractive, and it seemed like she's been flirting with me lately, um, but I'm not going to get my hopes up, you know, I'm going to try to get her phone number and chop it up with her, uh, she has a young, uh, she has a son and a daughter. I used to just see her with her with her uh, younger daughter. I just recently started seeing her with her son, but he looked like he about a good 
eight, nine, or ten. So uh, I don't really like to date women with kids, and then my living limit is basically two. Uh, and as you know, I don't have any kids, and I will be forty years old, forty years young, whichever way you look at it, in uh, the month of October. So. Um, you know, Flintown Boy is just saying thank you, y'all. Four years late, three years later. Um, a year from now, I might not, e I might not even be in Flint, Michigan. I don't know. Um, still contemplating on whether to leave or not. Um, uh, not gonna do my video diary today because this is my YouTube page. We ain't gonna talk about that. Um. Uh, but I just like to say thank you for those of you who subscribe to my channel, the Flint Town Boy channel. And thank you for those of you who subscribe to the Flint Town Boy Media Network. I am looking forward. I told you guys that uh, I'm not going to ask for donations because it's only going to cost me, what, about $130 to get the equipment I need to upgrade my uh, video quality and my audio quality and I really didn't want to do video because if I could I would just do my videos like a podcast because I'm not showing my face anyway but I said to myself that my uh, true talents come out when I am uh, inter interacting with other people talking about issues concerning black people what I'm gonna do when I do get my new video video camera uh, and when I get my new microphone, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to chop it up with young black men and young black women. Some issues will be about black females. Some will be about black males. Some will be about race relations, politics around the world. You know, I always tell people, you know, most people, black or white or any other race, don't really know how the world works works and don't really know what's going on around the world if they're not in their little bubble they have no clue i'm not like that i always have had a a pretty good uh idea of what's going on in the world like i said i've been listening to i've told a lot of you this before i'm reiterating it i used i didn't use i still listen to coast to coast not as much as i used to I've been listening to Coast to Coast AM since 2001, so 16 years. You have to basically be an intellectual to follow along. Now, like I said, sometimes you have some silly stuff on Coast to Coast, but uh, to understand a lot of the stuff that they talk about, you have to be at a basically intellectual level to understand it or go right over your head. Uh. I don't know if I really consider myself an intellectual, uh, just like I don't consider myself a scholar. I always say I'm a history buff, which means that I'm just under a scholar. And whatever you would call a person that's under an intellectual, I guess that's what you would call me. But uh, I like to engage with people. And it's some topics that I want to bring to my page. You know, I do better when I'm in group conversations. I do better when I'm debating people, but I don't even really think I'm going to be debating people on this network, on this channel. I believe what I'm going to be doing is letting people speak to you from their perspectives. And, you know, I can't wait to get a bunch of black males and females together and get them to start talking about certain things. But I'm out for now. Thank you, y'all, for three years of being back in Flint, Michigan. I will probably upload another video later on tonight. Thank you, Flint Town Boy supporters. As you know, I'm Flint Town Boy on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube.